Hi school family, it's Miss Tassie. Today I'm going to read you a story called Wombat Stew. Now this book is really cool. It came from a place called Australia. To get to Australia, we would have to take an airplane and fly for a really long time. Like a whole day. It's a really long time to spend sitting on an airplane. Today, I have a reading buddy with me. This is my bunny. My mommy made me this bunny when I was really, really little. So it's one of my favorite toys. And I like to read stories with my bunny, but I brought some extra buddies with me too, just in case they wanted to hear a story. So I'm gonna give you a minute to go get yourself a buddy, and then we are going to read Wombat Stew. Go ahead, go get a buddy. Did you get it? Okay, let's start. So Wombat Stew, because it's made in Australia, it has some words in it that we don't normally say or hear when we read stories. So I am going to talk about those words a little bit while we read. So let's get started. This book was written by Marcia K. Vaughn She's the author. She wrote all the words. And the illustrator is Pamela Loss. That means she made the pictures. So she drew all of these. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. What's a billabong? That's a funny word. Can you say it? Billabong. Billabong. A billabong is a small lake. And a dingo, that's him. He's a dingo. A dingo is like a wild dog. And it says that he caught a wombat. Hmm. That's that thing inside his bucket. You can only see his butt right now. I wonder what his face looks like. Let's find out. And he decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. <gasps> Look at the dingo. He's dancing carrying his bucket full of water. And this is the wombat. A wombat is a marsupial. That means they have a pouch in their fur, kind of like a kangaroo does. But they're a lot smaller than a kangaroo. A wombat looks like a bear, but it's like the size of a pig. It's funny, it's a bear pig. But they're called wombats and they make a hissing sound like this. Kind of like a snake. Ooh, I wonder what that is. That's a new animal. Platypus came ambling up the bank. So he's walking up the bank. Good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. That's his mouth. What is all? for? Oh, look at that big smile on Dingo. I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo. With a toothy grin. Look at that mouth. He's got all his teeth showing. I wouldn't want to be eaten by a Dingo. All those teeth, they're probably sharp. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blops of billabong mud. Blops of mud? Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Righto, in they go. 
So Platypus scooped up big blobs of fud with of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. That's the billy can. It's like a big bucket with a handle. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shade of the iron barks came Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. This is Emu. She's like a big bird. Ho ho, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. He's showing off. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers? Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emo dropped Emu dropped her finest feathers. Hmm. I don't know. This this wombat stew sounds kind of funny. Oh, it has blops of mud and feathers inside of it. Hmm. That's strange. I don't know if I'd want to eat that. Do you want to eat that? Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy. Wombat stew. Hmm, that wombat looks scared. Look at Platypus. He has his hands on his face, touching his bill, his mouth. Hmm. He looks concerned, like he's worried about the wombat. Old Blue Tongue the Lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy brew. Ugh, that sounds yucky. I definitely don't want to eat flies. Do you? I think that would be really crunchy. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped a chidna. He looks kind of like a porcupine or a hedgehog. He's got spines on his back and a long snout. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Those are the spikes on his back. They're called quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me. For a munchy stew... You need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Hmm. He's telling that dingo what else he needs in his stew. Think dingo will listen? Let's find out. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. Ooh, look at all those different bugs. Look at their, he doesn't look like he, they want to 
I'm sorry, they don't look like they want to go inside that stew. He looks scared. The very clever Dingo stirred and stirred all the while singing. He's using a stick to stir inside the billy can. In the kitchen, you might use a spoon to stir, stir up stew or soup or any type of food inside of a pan or a pot on the stove. We used a spoon to stir up our cookies. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey. Wombat stew. Look, they're all watching him make the stew. Except for the wombat. He still looks scared. He's just sitting and waiting, holding his head. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down from the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Gum nuts come from a gum tree. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. There's a lot of things in this stew now. We've got gum nuts. We've got creepy crawlies and bugs. We've got flies. We've got feathers. We've got, hmm, let's think back. What else do we have? Flies and feathers and mud. We can't forget that mud. Hmm, was there anything else? Am I missing anything? Do you remember? Let's see. Let's go back and check. Mud. Feathers. Flies. Creepy crawlies. Oops, I can't turn my page. Let's see. Creepy crawlies. There they are. And the gum nuts. That's everything. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? Asked the animals. <gasps> that, that. Wombat. Oh, look at the dingo. He looks really hungry. He's even salivating. He's got spit dripping off of his tongue. His mouth is watering because he's so hungry. Wait! Stop! Hang on, dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. <gasps> look, everyone's telling him to stop and hold on. I wonder what they have to stop for. What do you think? Let's find out. Why not? You, why not? You haven't tasted it. <gasps> Righto, I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy can and took a great big slurp. story the wombat was able to get away he did not get put into the stew because the platypus and the echidna and the lizard and the emu they're all his friends so they tricked the dingo into thinking that all these things needed to go inside of the stew but all the items they put in the stew made the stew taste really, really yucky. So if you liked that book, give me a thumbs up. If you thought the book was okay, give me a thumb in the middle. And if you didn't like that book, 
Give me a thumbs down. Let me see. I, hmm. What do you think? Did you guys like the book? Did you like the book? <gasps> We've got some thumbs up over here. I hope you enjoyed the story, friends. I miss you all. See you again soon.